All right, Coach Otto, we just uh, we're, we're, we got take two here. Got Scotty Burnett, he just gave us some of his finest acoustics here in the wrestling room. But what's going on? What are we up to today? What's going on where? Yeah, what did you do today? Oh, we did some uh, kind of rolls and things like that. And, uh, I learned about 20-some, maybe almost 30 years ago that you know, this coach was showing the um, a roll series, step-by-step, uh, step, one, two, three, four. Very simple, and it goes against uh, a lot of coaches' philosophy, like a, when they, somebody has a half Nelson, so you don't turn into your opponent, and in this role you have to turn into your opponent, and then uh, actually it's not a roll, it's, it's like uh, sit, sitting up on the, the butt. When you do every part of the move correctly, you got to have five points, or maybe even the pins from that position. So it's just an orthodox technique that a lot of people don't really know yeah. how to teach. If you just break it down in a step-by-step -step process, it's very simple. A lot of kids want to do you know, their own stuff, and actually I have to tell them, say, don't change the move. Just do exactly what I tell you to do, and then follow one, two, three, four steps. That's it. How long have you been teaching techniques? Ever since you, you graduated from Oklahoma State? No, no. I have, ever since I started wrestling, actually. In Japan, uh, older guys take care of younger guys. Uh, and in high school, when you're a senior, you're actually coaching incoming sophomores. In Japan, it's a three-year school. So it's 10th grade is the first year in wrestling. Most of the time, that time, my time, period. Um, so I was actually showing the moves when I was like uh, 11th grade. So like 1962. Yeah. You're showing techniques since 1962. Yes. Yeah. It's 2012. Exactly. It's 50 years. Yeah. You've been showing technique for a minute. Yeah. Okay. You guys, uh, you've coached seven Olympics teams, yes. Olympic teams. Um, five USA, Mexico, and Japan. Yes. Uh, you're not coaching this year, but you will be in attendance. I'll be in London um, with my wife, and uh, it's, it's like a half vacation, half, you know, observing or spectating some Olympic games, mainly wrestling, and um, I think we're going to have a good time. What do you look for? Do you, you know, do you, are you up on the, the Japanese team? I know you're far removed, 40, you know, 50 years from Japan, but yeah. do you still pay attention to what's going yeah, on there? I like to see some Japanese people, uh, wrestlers that I've seen since they were like in high school. You know, Olympic champion two or three times, uh, two-time Olympic champion. Uh, they were still struggling when they, they were wrestling like at 13, 14 years old. You know, when I was coaching a uh, cadet team. That's when I met those uh, Japanese girls, and also coaches. So you're up on both teams, though. You're up on the Japanese teams. Who do you cheer for? Do you I cheer do, for the USA or do you cheer for Japan? I actually don't cheer for, you know, anybody. I just look more like uh, analyzing what's going on on the mat, and I'm sure you know, a better person will win. And. Uh, Sometimes you know, when I coached or coaching wrestlers and, and, and uh, those gir uh, girls or boys win, and I, I'd like to see that. Okay, Coleman Scott, Oklahoma State Cowboy NCAA champion. You're an Oklahoma State Cowboy NCAA champion. Um, what do you think the key has been to his run? I mean, he had a really rough way to go. He had to win the Olympic trials. He hadn't qualified the weight yet. Then he wins. Uh, beats Humphrey and imagine and two out of three out of Sean Bunch. What, what's been the key to his success? You know what, uh, before that uh, final trials, I had a little feeling that he's going he's gonna to make it. And uh, he started talking to me at the, uh, like a Schultz tournament in uh, Olympic trials. And uh, he's a very nice guy. And, uh, you know, I like him a lot.
you always want to see Oklahoma State. You guys have had a great tradition of, of Olympians on the Japanese team, obviously the USA. But do you like to see Oklahoma State guys succeed? Uh, yeah, I like to see you know Oklahoma State, and even in Northwestern. That's that's where I went in grad school. And uh, Jake is on the team now, and I like to see both schools success. All right, you're retired from teaching. How's that? Yeah, great. I'm still busy though. Still busy? Yeah. How many things do you still coach? How many what? Rugby. How many things I coach? I just coach wrestling at St. Ignatius High School. No more rugby. Uh, no, no. I like to watch, but uh, not coaching. All right, last thing, I'm going to let you off the hook. Can you still do your age and push-ups? Age and push-ups. Can you still do your number of years that you're old in push-ups? Oh, yes, I think so. How many is I it? I hope so. How many is it right now? Right now? Yeah. 69. You can do 69 push-ups. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Can you do 100? Uh, yeah, I can do that, too. All right, coach. You got anything else for me? Huh? You got anything else for me? Uh, No. All right. I'm, I'm appreciate you talking to me since you're too busy guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, Coach, I always got time for you. See you in the London.